This program demonstrates the practical aspects of conducting small bowel capsule endoscopy with PILCAM SB. This is a medical procedure for the detection and diagnosis of diseases and disorders of the small intestine. Given Imaging's ingestible PILCAM SB video capsule records color images throughout the digestive tract. The images are later downloaded to the Rapid Workstation to form the Rapid Video for review and interpretation. To ensure that patients arrive prepared, you can give them copies of the patient instructions, which can be printed from the Rapid Workstation. Instruct patients to arrive for the procedure dressed in loose-fitting, two-piece clothing and to refrain from applying lotions or powders on the abdomen. Patients must be on a liquid diet from lunchtime the day before the examination and a complete food and liquid fast for at least 12 hours prior. They should not take any medication during the two hours before the exam. Before the patient arrives, make sure that you have all the required equipment ready, a PILCAM SB, the small bowel sensor array and adhesive sleeves, data recorder 2, recorder belt, and any accessories you may require for pediatric or very large patients. If you are using data recorder versions that predate data recorder 2, refer to the user manual. Prepare the sensor array by inserting each sensor into an adhesive sleeve with the dots and this side up markings facing away from the adhesive side of the sleeve. Now perform patient check-in to prepare the data recorder for capsule endoscopy. Before you begin, check that all four of the battery LEDs on the data recorder are lit, indicating that the battery is fully charged. In the rapid application, click the data recorder icon in the upper left corner of the screen. Then click patient check-in. The rapid program will guide you through the process of entering patient data. Click ready and remove the data recorder from its cradle. Now it's time to attach the sensor array. Ask the patient to lie down and expose the stomach down to the pubic bone. If necessary, shave the areas where the sensors will be placed. It can be helpful to mark the locations in advance. The sensor location guide will show you exactly where to place each sensor according to its label and color. Take care not to place sensors in inguinal folds or areas that may cause equipment damage. Adjustments may be required based on the patient's anatomy or surgical history, such as presence of an ostomy pouch. Lay the sensor array on the patient's body, making sure the sensor array connector is at the patient's left side. Match the letters and colors on each sensor wire to the letters and colors on the sensor location guide. Now attach the sensors using the adhesive sleeves. If you made marks, center the sleeve holes over the mark. With an obese patient, it may be useful to apply the sensors with the patient standing, making the necessary adjustments. Finally, secure the cable to the patient's left hip using adhesive pads. The patient may now get dressed. The sensor array connector should remain outside the patient's clothes. With the data recorder in its pouch and the locking handle at its back open, secure the recorder belt onto the patient's waist. Adjust the pouch so that the patient can monitor the data recorder LED. To connect the sensor array to the data recorder, slide the two sensor array protrusions into the matching grooves. Verify that the connector is inserted completely and then lock it by closing the handle on the back of the data recorder. You are almost ready to dispense the capsule, but first it's important to verify that the PILCAM SB is functioning properly and that the images are being received by the data recorder. To activate the PILCAM SB video capsule, remove it still in its holder from the blister wrapping. The capsule should begin blinking, and this will be visible through the translucent holder seal. To verify that the system is operating properly, hold the PILCAM SB in its holder in front of the patient's abdomen near the sensors for at least 15 seconds. When you do this, the capsule LED on the data recorder should begin blinking at two blinks per second in blue. Do not continue if the PILCAM video capsule is removed from its holder before the 15-second pre-ingestion test has elapsed, or if the data recorder is disconnected from the sensor array before PILCAM ingestion. Instead, return the capsule to its blister, confirm it is not blinking, 
and start again from the patient check-in. After 15 seconds, ask the patient to remove the capsule from its holder and verify that the pill cam keeps blinking at two blinks per second. With the pill cam SB in the patient's mouth, the blue capsule LED on the data recorder should continue blinking at two blinks per second. If it does not blink, stop and check the troubleshooting section of the user manual. If normal blinking continues, ask the patient to swallow the capsule with some water. Verify that the data recorder LED is still blinking and note the ingestion time on the event form included with the patient instructions. Before you release patients, remind them to follow all the guidelines in the patient instructions. The patient is now free to resume activity, but must continue fasting for another two hours from ingestion. At this point, water is permitted. Four hours after ingestion, the patient may have a light snack. Ask patients to check occasionally that the LED on the data recorder continues to blink twice per second in blue and provide an emergency contact number in case it doesn't. Staff caring for hospitalized patients should encourage ambulation if possible and should themselves check that the data recorder LED is blinking. When you receive the equipment after the examination, disconnect the sensor array from the data recorder and take the belt off of the patient. Now take the data recorder out of the belt pouch and place it in its cradle. Make sure you hear the three beeps confirming the data recorder is fully connected. Remove the sensors from the adhesive sleeves by tearing sleeves along the perforations. Do not pull sensors out of the sleeves, as this may damage the sensor array. Wipe the sensors and cables with a small amount of alcohol and let them air dry for half an hour. To download the raw data from the data recorder and create a rapid video, go to the workstation check-in and download screen and select the recorder bar that corresponds to the data recorder you want to download. Now just click Start Download. As the raw data is being processed, you can see the downloading image display. The active data recorder bar indicates when the download is complete. You have created a rapid video. Rapid videos can be saved on CD-ROM, disk on key and mass storage devices for storage, sharing or review on another workstation or with portable rapid reader software. We hope you found this program useful. Remember, if you have further questions, you'll find detailed answers and explanations in the user manual. Pillcam Endoscopy for the Small Bowel from Given Imaging, expanding the scope of GI.